You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your Young and the Restless full episode information for Friday, July 28th, 2023. This is the Friday cliffhanger, and we've got everything, the full recap, soup to nuts, and we are going to dig in right now. All right, we are going to see Kyle and Audra, guess where? In bed, as usual lately. And they are plotting against Adam Newman. They are talking about how he was coming for Newman Media and they are going to take him down. And Kyle's kind of bragging about driving Adam out of Jabot and how he had to go. And Audra finds this tough side of Kyle hot. And then it's a turn on. And then, oh, yeah, back to bed, right? This is what he's doing instead of showing up to his parents' wedding. He's doing Audra. Fresh off of Ashley raging at Jack about marrying Diane, she meets Abby over at the GCAC to talk about her own wedding planning for her nuptials to Tucker McCall. And Abby basically is not liking the hate her mom's giving off about Jack and Diane. And Abby actually has the cojones to compare Tucker and Ashley marrying so fast to what Jack and Jack and Diane are doing. And boy, does Ashley not want to hear that. But it seems she kind of does hear it to some extent because Abby's trying to kind of get Ashley to chill and let go of all the anger and resentment, but she won't. And then Ashley does wonder if maybe they should slow things up. Uh, Yeah, I think you should definitely slow things up. Real quick, if you haven't already subscribed, we love it if you'd hit that button. And if you hit the bell too, you get a notification when there is a new episode ready for you. All right, digging in. So after angry Ashley walks away from Jack, Jack and Diane at the mansion. Tucker congratulates them on their wedding because they're getting married that day at the house and he leaves also. Billy was with them. This is all picking up from the prior day's episode and Billy and Jack share a look of understanding and then Billy goes too. And then Jack and Diane are going to have their marriage. Their only person there is Tracy Abbott. There's a bunch of flashback scenes, just different stuff when Susan Walters was on before. And then they decide to consummate their marriage. So they head upstairs and we get that sex scene. And then they decide that even though they don't really want to leave the bedroom, that they are going to go celebrate at the GCAC because they need to rub their marriage into Ashley's face so they can move their Trojan horse plan forward with Billy. So when they get over to the GCAC, we have also there Ashley, Tucker, Billy, Audra, and Kyle. And Jack and Diane are not really happy that their son is there because they know they are about to stage a scene and they really don't want him to see it, but they have no choice. It's too late. They're already there. So Billy told Tucker that Jack marrying Diane infuriated him and he says he doesn't consider Diane family. And when Tucker kind of prods, Billy says, well, he doesn't consider Tucker family either. So Ashley and Tucker have spotted Kyle and Audra when they first come in, and Ashley is seeing it accurately as people hooking up, but Tucker is trying to dissuade her and makes it just seem like they're co-workers because he's trying to shield Audra as he does because he definitely knows better. So then Billy asks Kyle why he missed his parents' wedding, and Kyle says he was busy, and Billy's kind of scoffing at him. And then Jack and Diane approach Kyle and Billy, and Kyle makes some work excuses about why he's at the bar when he supposedly said he couldn't come to their wedding because he had work. And then Billy starts making the scene that they planned. He calls their marriage a mistake, and then he lobs this bombshell saying, even your son didn't want to be there, and Kyle kind of starts trying to backpedal and cover and saying, no, no, I support them. And he's kind of calling Billy out. And then Jack tells Billy, just go. So Ashley and Tucker are watching all of this like it's the Super Bowl of family drama. 
And then Billy and Jack kind of keep at it until Kyle gets between them and intervenes. And then Billy finally exits. So then Tucker and Ashley stop by to pee on Jack's parade a little more. They make some threats about them destroying Jack and Diane and all this. So Jack and Diane are not happy about staging this scene on their wedding day, which was otherwise a very happy day for them, but they know it needed doing. So then Ashley kind of follows along. She catches up with Billy at Crimson Lights and she sits down and says, what are we going to do about this Jack situation? So clearly the Trojan horse plan is working. Aside from all the Abbott family drama and seeing Kyle and Audra banging like usual, we have a very tense scene on Friday's episode between Adam and Victor. I personally found this scene kind of worthless just because I don't feel like it accomplished anything or changed anything. You know, when you're when you see a scene in a movie or a scene in a book and it does not advance the plot for it any, then to me it's it's a crap scene and I feel like this one was worthless. You guys when you watch the episode, you'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments if it meant something to you. So Victor and Adam are arguing, of course, about how much Victor told Victoria about Adam's new company, a and Victor is threatening Adam, you better get in line, you better do this. They're arguing, and then they're talking about how they're tired of the cycle of the anger, and then Adam leaving, and then Adam returning, and trying to get back into Victor's good graces, or Victor trying to get back, and it's just, it's cyclical. It's, it is so cyclical. We've all seen this with all the Adams, all the Adams over the years, and Victor, this scene has replayed so many times. And then Victor blames Adam's mom, Hope, for all of this, you know, resentment and daddy issues about him not being there when he was growing up. And of course, you know, Victor stayed away because Hope asked him to. So it's all a mess. And then Victor, in the end, basically says he's going to personally oversee the new merged company and going to make sure that Nick and Sharon and Adam are working well together and basically, you know, throws down the gauntlet, gives him an ultimatum. And Adam says, OK, I accept. And then he does tell him that he offered Phyllis an IT job. And then after Adam leaves, Victor is still annoyed and he goes to punch his heavy bag. That was the scene. It's just like Victor's like, this is the way it's going to go. And Adam's fine, like, fine. I don't even know what the point of the scene was. Although I always enjoy seeing Eric Braden and Mark Grossman on my screen. But aside from that, I feel like it was kind of pointless. So that's the full recap of Young and the Restless Cliffhanger episode on Friday, July 28th, 2023. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you're tuning in to watch the show. If you haven't already, we'd love it if you click subscribe. And we'd love it if you clicked a like. If you enjoyed this recap, thanks for listening. Leave us comments. I love to read your comments. I read them all. Thanks. Peace. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 